This episode, I have the exclusive interview with my grandmother, South Philly Mary. Hold on, let me get her. Gran! What? What do you want? Come here! Here I come! Oh, what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing the interview for my podcast. Don't you remember? Paulie, I was shaving my area. Look, what do you think? Oh, Graham, don't show me that stuff. Come on. Oh, grow up. You've seen me naked about a million times. Unfortunately, yes. Against my will, absolutely. Now, now just just put your house dress down and... and Wait a minute. Did, did you get pierced? Oh, yeah, I did. Look, look, it's, it's got my birthstone in it. Okay, Graham, I thought I'd start off the interview by mentioning certain podcrafters and getting your honest opinion about them. Is that okay? Uh, th- th- yes? Go ahead. What are your thoughts on the mic? You know, formerly of The Awful Show, now he's the co-host of The Mediocre Show. And he just started that new podcast with that girl Pratt. Well, her name is actually Cat Graham. And the name of the podcast? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. I know what it is. Okay. Go ahead. What is it? It's, um, um, uh, obnoxiously obese. Uh, no. Close. It's actually obviously oblivious. Oh. (laughs) Well, that's catchy. Now, Mike's last name is Palat, isn't it? He pronounces it Pilot. Hmm. Palat. You know, that sounds a lot like pull out. Mike looks like the kind of guy that would pull out and come all over my big tits. Uh, okay. I'll be sure to mention it to him. How about Mr. Eric Tomorrow from The Mediocre Show? Oh, you know how I feel about Eric. Ooh, I want to touch myself right here. Please don't. He is such a gorgeous piece of man jerky. If he wasn't engaged... I would fuck him like a nun that hit the lottery. I found out recently that my grandmother is actually a gamer. She loves playing the Xbox. Grim, why don't you tell them about some of your favorite games? Well, Paulie, I just started playing that Four Dead Whores game. What the fuck is Four Dead Whores? Yeah, you you know the one. Where you gotta shoot all the zombies. (laughs) No, Graham. You're talking about Left 4 Dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Left 4 Dead. I I thought it was weird. I kept waiting for these whores to jump out. I was gonna shoot whores, and they never came out. I I was... uh, Never mind. I got it. Okay. Sorry. So what other games do you like? Well, when there's that fighting one where I keep making you my bitch boy, you know, the, the, the F-U-C, uh, Undisturbed. I right, first thing, it's called UFC Undisputed. Listen, why don't you just tell everybody your game and tag just in case they want to hook up with you on Xbox Live. Uh, okay, if anybody would like to get a hold of me on Xbox Live, my game and tag is Cock Jockey 69. Of course it is. What else would it be? Well, Graham, I'd like to thank you a bunch for being on the podcast. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's been a pleasure, Paul. Is there any final words that you'd like to share with us? Well... Did I ever tell you the time that I went down on Dean Martin? Well, that would be every Christmas since I was eight years old. It was the summer of 62, and me and my friend Viola, we took a bus down L- the Atlantic Graham, City. Graham, that's it. It's and over. It, uh, that's it. No, listen. That's it. No, I am your grandmother. It's, 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 give me the fucking mic. Sucking Dean Martin's cock. Hello, this is Sapphily Paul's grandmother, Sapphily Mary. I just wanted to finish my story about Dean Martin. All I wanted to add was, we had such a great time. 
I made him come like a can of crazy string. That that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Brent, what are you doing? Oh. Get away from the laptop. See ya. You better not be downloaded from RedTube again.